Hey guys, today just gonna do a quick tutorial on footwork and how we kind of teach our beginners and it's not just for beginners though, it's how you should stand all the time or at least move all the time. You can switch your stance up based on your skill level, based on your opponent, based on what you're training for, um, which are things like that. But I wanna cover just the basics today and again, you can use these basics though to win fights. So just because they are basic doesn't mean they don't work. So first thing when we're teaching beginners in our class guys and we're talking mostly about kickboxing here, okay? Um, a very neutral kickboxing stance is what I like to call it. What we want to do, if you're right-handed, of course, is we're going to step forward with our left foot and bring our right foot back. So our power's in the back, our weaker side's in front. We're going to use that to set up stuff. We're going to use this to finish stuff, all right? And the way I like to tell my people to use their feet is if there's a line between your feet or I'm facing my opponent, I don't want to be in a wrestling stance. I don't want my feet together. You know, I don't want to be able to be pushed forward or back, all right? And I don't want to be super linear, okay? I don't want to be able to fall forward or back. So we like a 45 degree stance is what I tell people. Now, with your feet, you'll see a lot of kickboxing. I want that front foot pointed forward, and you'll see a lot of people point that other foot 90 degrees, okay? I'm not a big fan of it. I see a lot of high level guys do it. If it works, it works, all right? I prefer to point that foot about 45 degrees, okay? Doesn't have to be pointed forward, okay? but I like it about 45. The reason I like this is I like to fight with a lot of pressure on my toes, and I like to be able to spring forward and spring back, spring side, side. And if you have pressure on your toes, you can do that, okay? If you're on your heels or you're flat footed, it's a little harder to get up on those toes and then start moving again. So this is our basic neutral kickboxing stance. This is where I'll start everybody off. So again, guys, we want our feet about 45 degrees from our opponent. We want to have our front foot forward. We want to have our back foot about 45 degrees, pressure on our toes and knees bent, and then both hands up. Left shoulders forward a little bit. My chest is also about 45, okay? Now, movement is key, all right? You can't win if you don't move. You're just going to be a punching bag. So what we do not want to do, and the reason we work on this movement, is we never want to cross our feet, okay? Never fails, people will start moving around, and I do it too, it's something we gotta constantly drill, is if we're moving to our left or our lead side, inevitably we'll eventually start crossing with our back foot to move, okay? The problem with that is when my feet are crossed, I'm not in a stance to throw punches at you now, okay? I can't get power, all right? I can't spring forward or back, all right? And I'm stuck in the mud. It might only be a split second, because I'm moving but that split second is all it takes. So what we wanna work on in our neutral stance is if we move to our left or our lead side, that lead foot's gonna make the first move, okay? If we move to our power side or our right, that back foot's gonna move first. That foot that's to the right's gonna move first. If we move forward, the front foot's gonna move first. And if we move back, the back foot's gonna move first. So whichever foot's closest to the direction you wanna move, that's the one you're going to use first, okay? Now, when you do move, if we move in any direction, that first foot, if it moves six inches, don't move the back foot 12 inches. Now I'm not in a stance or in my neutral stance, okay? Anytime you move that first foot, any amount of um, distance, you need to follow that same distance with your back foot to end up back in a neutral stance. So if I move forward six inches, my back foot moves forward six inches. I'm ready to fight from here. Okay, if I move back, eight inches. My front foot's gonna move eight inches. If I move to the left, one inch. My back foot's only gonna move one inch. Okay, and so on. If I move to the right, my front foot's gonna follow. I'm always finishing in a stance that's going to allow me to punch or to kick, okay? So, when we start talking about punching, we can start changing some of the footwork we do. You know, We will move a little bit differently off hooks. We'll step with jabs and finish with crosses. However, what we drill first is, let's get the movement down, okay? It seems so simple. If we start adding punches now, as you're just learning it, you will start to screw up, okay? So it's a good idea, it's a good warm up in fact. Set the timer three minutes, do two rounds of this. Practice stepping forward, stepping back. Stepping left, stepping right. And you should look down, you moved all directions, you should be exactly where you started. Then you can start to step forward twice. Step left once. Step back once. Step right once. Step back again. And now 
We moved twice forward, twice back, left once, right once. We should be right back where we started, okay? So that is a good way to practice. So again, guys, a good warm up. Practice coming in, coming out, coming in, coming out. Go left, go right, go left, go right. And you practice this enough, it's gonna help you with your distance, it's gonna help you with your timing, and it's gonna stop you from getting stuck in the mud. Okay, so find a mirror, find a partner, and you guys can actually drill this together. It will make you better, and you have to practice this boring stuff to get the advanced stuff later. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it.